Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to create a tie flow and tie spline particle path. So to start with, I'm going to create a, just a sphere. I'm just going to do the radius maybe 20. I'm just going to move it a little bit up. And I'm going to create a, a line, a spline actually. So I'm just going to do like this. I'm just going to hold and drag. I'm just going to go to my line. I'm just going to select the vertex. I'm just going to select the vertex. I'm just going to move them a little bit up and down just to give it to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, then I'm going to create a tie flow. So let's do this one. I will open the editor. I will do a birth operator and I'm gonna make it end at zero. And just I'm gonna make my particles around 250 and I'm gonna change my display to geometry. I will add um, position object. So I'm just gonna press tab, position object this one and I'm gonna pick my sphere um, as my object uh, I'm just gonna get to go to the sphere I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to object uh, properties I'm gonna remove the renderable and I'm gonna display as a box so it's gonna look like that um, we need to give them shape to see those little spheres. So I'm going to add a shape operator here. And I'm going to go down there, select 3D, and I will add a, a sphere, maybe a high rise one. As you can see, like my uh, my sphere are here now, so um they still in their place. So I'm just going to add uh, another operator called path follow for path path follow. So I'm just going to put it under there. I'm going to pick my splines as my paths for my uh, particles. So um. If I'm gonna move my this one, so they're going in the two directions, which I don't need. It. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do move my spline a bit, so to see where. See, yep. Maybe I'll just move it this way. I'm just gonna play with the vertex, so. So if I go out, it should be better now. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I think I did something really wrong. So if I move my navigation here, this seems quite fast. So I'm gonna add slow operator, slow. Just gonna see how the variation. Yeah, seems a bit better. So I'm just gonna make it maybe like 15. So just gonna check. Yeah, 
seems better because we need to move those vertex to here maybe just to be going both sides that's I think I will go back to the first one, it seems a little bit better. Yeah. I think I need them a bit more slow, so I'll just go there. yeah that seems pretty good so i'm gonna add uh, another operator called spline path so spline path put it here and on i'm gonna create a new one so now i have a tie spline measure so if I move this way, so you can see my, um, I'm going to add, an, I'm going to press Alt and the, I'm going to press Alt and drag. Just going to change those ones to maybe 200. Okay. So it will continue. seems pretty cool so um maybe i'll change the radius to 0 0.3 here and also i think with the path flow i think i'm gonna change the attraction to 0 0.3 so so let's let's have a look yep I will add also a mesh operator for the rendering. So with this one, I will add a mesh operator for the rendering. Yeah. Now as I finished, so I will just add um, my. I will apply my V-Ray uh, setup. So just close my V-Ray. I will change my expo environment to V-Ray and I will um, I will put the material I just press press M just gonna get a uh, just a normal V-Ray MLT material for the just get like this so sort of orangey color or maybe yeah and i'm gonna give it to my tie flow and also i'm gonna for my spline i'm gonna give it maybe this material the yep and i'm gonna create a v target uh, sorry v ray light I'm gonna go to the end here, just gonna put You just put me to my my scene now. Just gonna go this way. 
just gonna show you if I just put here my V-Ray viewport so you can see the result just gonna take a while so I'm just gonna move I move my navigation yeah it's quite slow so as you can see And also you can see the spheres and this the splines. Um, this is without the V ray, so it's just this one. Alright, this is the tutorial for today. Thank you for watching.